Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Okay, what have I got for you today? This is some guitar. I have to say, I don't get my head turned very often by guitars, but I wandered into this shop and my eyes fell out of my head when I saw this guitar. And of course I thought, well, it must be a 60s of some sort. Picked it up, looked at it. It's got all this heavy relic to it. And of course then I saw the Fender Custom Shop limited edition on the back and I went, aha. So what we have here is a 2007 62 reissue Strat. Now, if that's not enough, this is a heavy relic Strat made by the custom shop. And if that's not enough, this is one of the 2007 NAM guitars. Now, what is a NAM guitar? Well, the National Association of Music mm, somethings uh, is the big uh, convention that they have every year for all the dealers uh, to come in and buy the wares of Gibson and Fender and, and all the, the big guitar guys. And what Fender does with their uh, a custom shop is they take and they build some specific guitars exactly for that and only for that. These guitars are not offered for sale to anybody except if you get your name picked out of the, the bucket that, uh, that uh, they have as a, as a drawing, then you have the opportunity to buy it if you're a Fender dealer. So you can't just go out and buy one of these. And when I saw that it was a NAM guitar, it was like, oh, wow. How in the world did we get this? Well, I don't know the story about how it showed up here in Des Moines, but I gotta tell you, it is one cool guitar. Now, I'll tell you on the back, it says, limited edition NAM 2000 Fender Custom Shop. Now, there are some guitars they call NAM guitars. Those are not the guitars that were made for the NAM convention. This one is. Now, again, what they wanted to do was just pull out all the stops because these were the guitars that they were showing off uh, for all the dealers and I'll tell you what this thing I mean I have a 62 Strat <laughs> this thing feels exactly like it I mean it's just amazing what they do and then they've got like the the finish crazing in this uh, finish and and of course the wear marks I mean this one looks like it's been beat up a lot more than my guitar I didn't play mine nearly as hard but uh, I gotta tell you this guitar is relic they call this a heavy relic now let's talk about the color that was the other thing that attracted me to this guitar. I walked in and I saw this. I go, what is that color? They call this tangerine candy. Now, where they came up with tangerine candy, from my, what my understanding is, is the red uh, Fender's strats back in the day would take on some, some fading. And they would turn sort of an orangey kind of a color uh, if they got exposed to a lot of, of sunlight and UVs. And that would be what this color would be, is a faded red which turned into this tangerine. Well, they actually call it tangerine, and it just looks so cool. I mean, a red Strat looks cool. This looks really cool. Now, what else did they do to this guitar? Um, they, they put in a, a mint green uh, pick guard. Uh, it's got the three-ply on it uh, like you'd want to see in a 62. Uh, it's, it's got the, the uh, Fender uh, patent, uh, Fender patent, uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, it just says Fender on these, but they are really, they're like rusty, like an old 62 would be. Uh, it's got the knobs look like they've been worn, uh, the, the, the selector switch is worn, uh, your input jack is worn, the back of course is all worn. Uh, I've just talked about the, uh, the neck plate, uh, but it's got the big heavy uh, trem block. Uh, the neck is not heavily relict at all, matter of fact, it's not relict at all, which I like. Uh, I'm always afraid of what they're going to do to next, but the, uh, the, the tuners have been uh, relict and uh, the head stock has not been relict, which I'm happy to say. So uh, it's, it feels like a brand new guitar, but it looks like a 62. It's really, really awesome. Now this one has a maple neck. It's got a really lightweight ash body, so it doesn't weigh a ton. Um, and uh, the pickups just sound marvelous. Now the one thing that they did do uh, which I really am happy they did. They didn't do a three-way uh, switch on, they did a five-way, which, let's face it, everybody who has a 60s Strat, my Strat from 62 has a five-way switch that I put in back in the 70s. When they came out with them, it's like, all right, it's time to do away with the three-way. So, anyway, the pickups sound marvelous. Uh, I don't, I'm sure there's something special, I couldn't tell you what they are, because uh, I did not open it up. That's on the uh, neck, let's go in between. Oh, I love that sound. 
Let's go to the middle pickup. I should tell you that uh, this neck uh, uh, profile is a nine and a half uh, profile, uh, which makes it a, a more of a modern player as opposed to the, the flatter uh, neck. So if you're a bender in that, uh, you're going to like how this, this one bends as opposed to the earlier ones. Let's go in between again. So we've got this awesome guitar, and it's just beautiful in uh, candy tangerine. It's heavily relict, uh, and it just plays, plays marvelous. Now, that's really exciting, but you know what? I got this really cool case for you, too. Now, this is the Gibbs, or I'm sorry, the Fender uh, limited edition case. You can tell that because when you open it up, it says Fender Custom Shop limited edition. Uh, it's a G and G case. Uh, it's beautiful. It's got the big, heavy, uh, uh, sort of a plushy, uh, uh, black uh, tol or, uh, plush in it, but look at what we've got in here. Oh my goodness, we've got a nice leather uh, Fender strap in here. That's really cool. We've got all the Fender stuff. We've got, uh, here's the back plate. Here's the uh, C uh, certificate of authenticity. We've got our more strings, uh, sp uh, springs. We've even got, oh, what else do we have in here? We've got the uh, <laughs> These are never with, with Fender guitars, but of course we've got the bridge cover. Uh, and uh, everything that you want to see for this guitar is in here. Uh, the uh, certificate of, of authenticity is, uh, yep, here it is right here. So we've got that with the guitar that says this is a genuine NAM guitar. So I got to tell you, if you're looking for a really cool, unique Strat, uh, you're not going to find one cooler than this. I tell you what, the color is great, pickups are great heavily relic in all the right places. Sometimes when they relic guitars, I mean, I have to admit, I've never been a big fan of that, but I gotta tell you, that was such a fine job. You'd really have a hard time telling that that was, uh, was done by hand. Uh, you're gonna love this guitar. It plays great, sounds great, and you will absolutely love it. You can't buy these. You have to go to NAM and be a dealer to get one. So uh, here's your chance. Uh, check it and all of our cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com or go straight to Reverb.com and type in Lawman Guitars. You'll see our entire inventory. We've got 150 of the coolest guitars in town uh, and especially on Reverb. They love me because I have so many cool guitars in their site. So uh, check them all out at Reverb.com or Lawman.com uh, and I really, really appreciate you watching this today. Thanks a lot.